All right, well, now we're going to take on the front view of your breast stroke. So as you're coming forward in the front view, you can just see how straight the arms are. So if I'm drawing what your arms should look like, uh, your arms are here. They're just really wide when you're taking that pull. They should be here to the elbow and then down here to your pole. So you want the hands just outside the elbows as you're taking the pull. Um, and that bend is going to give you a lot more power. That high elbow position that we want in all strokes is going to give you a lot more power in terms of your pull. Um, and we'll do a comparison. I'll, I'll have uh, Max go side by side with you and, and just kind of show you where that pull needs to come from. And then as you're coming underneath the body, again, those hands are, need to get higher. So as, as you're coming forward in terms of your stroke, your hands are here. Let me get that off because that's not the way I want to draw that line. Um, but your hands are here, and we want the hands up here, higher up towards your chin, towards your head. So your head is following those hands, and they're at the surface, and that will give you a better line. So when you reach forward, what I'm going to see is your hands here, which is what I see there. So I see your hands, um, but the problem is I see your head above that so I see your head up here so it's not exactly as streamlined as you want you want those that head and those hands on that same line and if you get your hands up higher in the recovery that's going to help you get there and then as you press out again you can see how straight those arms are and then kick wise you can just see how wide the kick is so at this point when you're bringing your feet forward with your ankle flexibility where it is your, your knees are really far apart. So when we bring it up, we want the, why is that doing that? Um, we want the knee right here, straight in line with your hips um, on both sides. So inside of those lines and a little bit more straight angled with the legs, not diagonal with where they are right now. And that'll give you a lot more power in your kick. Um, but you are doing a better job of trying to create that streamline. Again, if we can get those hands up and, and you see the view of your fingers as you come forward. I'm all for having separation, um, but that separation is just a little too wide. Uh, you, you're not going to be pulling water with fingers two inches apart. Um, and so I can see your two fingers here. And then this other fingers here. So that's that's a little bit too much room between the fingers uh, to be creating a catch uh, with that hand. But you know you're improving it again and just bring those hands up towards your chin instead of down towards your chest, your lower end of your chest. Um, but overall you've improved the stroke and we'll do a comparison so that you can see that as well.